Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing episode of Team Jake. So for today's vlog, I am going to unbox and review Solar Landscape Spotlight. All right, so we are going to open the box and then we're going to make a review on the product and try it outside and we'll go from there. So let's start unboxing. So if you look at the specifications on the box, it says that it's color black, it's waterproof, and um, also its weight is 1.5 pounds. So what we have in the box is, of course, the user's manual, and then also we got two USBs. This is good because there's one USB for each, for, for each solar light. And it says on the instruction that we have to charge it at least 8 to 10 hours before taking it outside. And also, we have these ones here that can hold the solar light. And also, if you look at this, these are the holes where you can mount it on the wall. Okay, the solar lights are also for mounting on the wall and they came with screws that you can use. There's two of them for each solar light. And then also we have the stakes. This is if you put your solar light in the ground. Now these solar lights are made of, they, they're made of plastic, but they look really durable and sturdy. So they, okay, so if we take a look at the user's manual, it says here that it's waterproof, frost resistant, heat resistance, and solar powered. And of course, like I said a while ago, it comes with two USB charging. And also the user's manual has the product instruction here, and then the specifications of the product, and also introduction, you have, we have to read this, and installation. So what's good about this is we can install it, or you can connect it on the wall, you can mount it on the wall, or you can also just you know stick it on the ground, and it will work just perfectly. And then also, it says here, of course, you have to read the notice. The solar light can only be turned on and adjusted in darkness or when the solar panel is completely obscured. Okay, then, of course, we have to follow the instructions, the requirements when we use the product. And, of course, we have to remove it. Okay, so if you can see, there's 43 lamp beads inside of this. And also, as I have checked, there's screws on each corner. It seems like it's really, really um, intact. So that means that this thing can can last for a long time. And if you look here, you know, there's a screw here where you can adjust. You can adjust on how you want it to be, okay? So you can just screw them together and then you can adjust that. You can put it like that or, you know, put it like this, stuff like that. So it's really good. Like I said, the plastic materials are really, really durable. So good and also the screws that come with it yeah they look like they're pretty sturdy also so you have all the materials all you need to do if you want to mount it on the wall all you have all you need is a screwdriver just to you know um, attach this on the wall so so what I like about this product is it has a user's manual which is very easy to understand and also the product itself it already has what we need so we don't have to like you know find other stuff that we need to in order for us to install so everything is already in the box okay so before we use it outside like i said we need to charge it up so it's right here the charging port is right here at the back of each solar panel it's right there so you just simply connect this and then all you have to do is to find a charging head there find charging head for this and let's leave it for leave it for like eight to ten hours and then we'll be back okay so we're charging it now i just realized that the usb chargers are a little too short so i have to use a I have to use an extension to charge both of them because they won't reach the plugins in the wall. 
But other than that, it's pretty good. So welcome back! Now this these outside lights are already charged out, so come on, let's go and stick them outside. So here it is, you can see it's really bright. So what's good about this one is it has three light settings. This is the very bright one that you can even put it on medium and then on low. If you use the low light, it should last longer than compared to when you use the, the bright light. 